Okay guys, I've got uh, a disability problem with L4, L5 spine and other problems going on back there that causes sciatica and I've got some kind of possibly bursitis but I've been told two different things so I'm not sure that the cushion between the shoulder joint has actually gone and maybe they have a way to fix that and that was the beginning now everybody else has said bursitis, but I don't know. And anyway, it gets painful in my arm, arthritis, and that I have too, and the spine, the leg. So guys, I'm trying to make something for pain here, and I'm not endorsing any kind of drug for somebody to use to get high on. So, but I want to show you a couple of little things here. This is something I... And I'm not endorsing any site for, you know, for buying anything. It, it grows all over the place here, but I bought it anyway processed because maybe they do a better job than I would do. So this is from Burma Spice, and it's called Wild Lettuce, okay? So I've taken a pot full of water here, and I'm assuming, I don't know, maybe a quart, quart and a half, something. Anyway, uh, and I've taken two good uh, rounded, or, or maybe possibly heaping, but it wasn't really heaping, but tablespoons and put in the water. And that's not the only thing I put to make a tea. I put some sweetener as well, some Splenda, a half a cup. All right, I've used two bags of this of course I've decided later to put some water in a quart jar and heat it up in the microwave add a little bit of water to to steep this and then I added it to the other tea okay so I'm letting you guys know how exactly I made this so all right this is ashwagandha root powder now I've had some better than this and I've forgotten the name of it It was CBS and it was processed a different way but this is okay you know this is all I can find now they quit doing it so this is 800 milligrams so I've taken four of these capsules and I took them apart and I put it also in this pot of water with the wild lettuce Alright, now we've got, I've got two different types, Cretone, Cretone powder that I bought here from Brothers Botanicals. And they seem for like a pretty good company, I'm not sure whether they give you the most for your money or whatever, but I've decided to open this and use this, it's called Green Mayang Da, and it's a, a, a type of Cretone. You know, there are other strains, many, I guess there are many types of strains. I, I don't know how many, but there are quite a few out there. So, this is one of them. I've tried Malay and I've tried Bali uh, Cretone. And you need to switch around because you know the effects. If you've got spine pain, if you keep using this long, you get kind of. Uh, <laughs> After a while, it gets to where it's not working, and then you need to switch to another strain and see if that'll work. And I don't know that it's a special name for it where you get kind of used to something, and after a while, it quits working. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens. So I've taken about a good, good rounded tablespoon of this, just slightly rounded and put it in water. Maybe I didn't uh, mention that a while ago. So now I'm going to mention, mention it. So what I've done here, let me show you what I've done, decided to do to strain this tea. So, so I can give you, you know, a pretty good idea how I'm doing this herbal tea here. So you got wild lettuce and you got ashwagandha powder, which you can buy that I think in uh, the leaf just like the wild lettuce you know I think you can buy that also but anyway and I've got the Cretone Kratom 
I stand to be corrected because I'm pronouncing it wrong. I guess a lot of people out there would say Kratom. I think it's called Kratom is what uh, maybe the real pronunciation is. But, okay. All right. I've hung this. And you see I've got it up here. i got a hook up here. Well, I've hung this nut milk bag is what they call it. And I've got it, you know, after I steeped the tea, I put it in this bag. So now I'm going to strain it. Get all the goody and medicinal properties out of this tea. Now I'm not t telling you to drink this whole thing, but maybe just a cup of it at a time, or maybe even a half a cup to see how it affects you. And I'm not endorsing anybody to try to get high on this, or to mix this with alcohol and all that other stuff. So don't think I'm endorsing this any kind of way. Anybody. Because I have a lot of pain. They give me, I, I take it three times a day, 900 milligrams three times a day. You know how many milligrams of gabapentin that is a day for pain? 2,700 milligrams. And I've gotten to where it's not working good anymore. And I'm taking also another family of uh, gabapentin that uh, actually just makes me sleepy. It's not doing any anything for pain. So I take those two different types of things. Um, I can't think of the name. I could go get it. But anyway, uh, right now I'm making this tea, this herbal tea, and hoping that it will do good. So, guys, I'm going to take one cup, one cup of this tea, and try it. I got some little cups right here. Some little value, great value, 100 bath cups or whatever they calling these things. I'm not sure what they call them. I guess you use it in the bathroom possibly to rinse your mouth and stuff like that. Um, anyway, I got these. And it's approximately one cup when you fill this thing up. So, uh, it don't look like it though, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of on the mild side of one cup there, so maybe I might just fill this up and try it now and see if it's sweet enough, if it's palatable to taste. I got to put this in a jar. So, bottoms up. It's drinkable. It's not the best thing in the world. It tastes like a real strong green tea. What you got to remember is medicinal tea. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this jar for storage. I mean, you can put it in a pitcher for storage or whatever you want to do. But I'm going to use this jar. So, here we go. And it's just, I'm barely holding it, so I might just put the other I still got just a little tiny bit left in the bottom see there <laughs> it's not but it's still up and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator when I have pain I'm going to take a cup of this and try it I think I'm beginning to feel that now if I just took a sip but how about enjoying me tastes good not bad after two cups of coffee. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye now.